probability of survival. In the macabre game of Russian roulette, which is not recommended by the author, one inserts a single cartridge into one of the six chambers of the cylinder of a revolver, leaving the other five cylinders, five chambers of the cylinder, empty. One then spins the cylinder, aims at one's head and pulls the trigger. What is the probability of still being alive after playing the game once, twice, capital N times? What is the probability of being shot when playing the game the capital N time? Okay, so here is our uh, revolver. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cylinders. There is only a cartridge in one of the cylinders and uh, after uh, mounting it we spin it uh, uh, and basically it's going to stop at a random uh, cylinder and uh, we pull the trigger and uh, there is going to be a, a cartridge inside or it's going to be an empty uh, cylinder so let's talk about the probabilities so first of all uh, if we are performing a one experiment uh, we need to consider how many outcomes are uh, possible you can see that there are uh, six possible outcomes because we have uh, six cylinders so six possible outcomes and we can uh, count the outcomes uh, with an index R so it stops at the cylinder R which is one, cylinder one, cylinder two, all the way up to cylinder six. And one of them has the cartridge. So uh, we can talk about the probability of uh, being shot. There is one e event out of six that ends up uh, killing somebody so the probability of being shot would be probability of the art event which has the cartridge in it so one event out of six events will give us uh, somebody being shot uh, however if we uh, read the question carefully what is the probability of still being alive so uh, if the probability of being shot is 1 over 6 then the probability of being alive after one experiment would be 1 minus the probability of being shot because you're either alive or you're shot so this will correspond to 1 minus 1 over 6 so the answer will be 5 out of 6 events will end up uh, having the victim still alive. So in part B, after playing the experiment twice, what would be the probability of being still alive? Um, now, we need to consider if you are repeating the experiment, are the repeated experiments correlated or uncorrelated? When every time we're spinning the uh, the revolver, basically we find that we spin the cylinder, uh, we find that uh, 
uh, we are we're choosing another random uh, cylinder uh, when we pull the trigger so the repeated experiments will have uncorrelated results so we should note that since the repeated experiments have uncorrelated or we can say statistically independent outcomes If you look at the probability of being alive after the second experiment, that means we need to consider probability of being alive after the first experiment. So not being shot in the first experiment. And then in the second experiment, so we have not being shot in the first experiment and product with the probability of not being shot in the second experiment so that after the second experiment uh, the victim is still alive so we have the probability of not being shot is 5 over 6 for the first experiment the second experiment which is uncorrelated the probability of being alive is 5 over 6 also. Probability of being alive after the first experiment and after the second experiment is 5 over 6 times 5 over 6. We will have 25 over 36 as the probability of survival after the second experiment. And we can generalize this to capital N experiments. So for capital N experiments, uh, we want to have survival after the capital N experiments. So probability of not being shot in the first experiment times the probability of not being shot in the second experiment times the probability of not being shot in the end experiment. So we have a total of uh, capital N experiments and therefore we find that for each of them, the probability of survival was 5 over 6, so multiplied n times, so 5 over 6 to the power capital N will be the probability of survival after the capital N experiment. Now in part D, what is the probability of being shot when playing the game, the end time okay so this means uh, being shot the end time basically means that we have survival having survived n minus 1 times in the previous capital N minus 1 experiment we have survival so what is the probability of uh, survival in the capital N minus 1 experiment so we have uh, capital N minus 1 experiments where we have survival 
and we have uh, finally in the ant experiment the person is shot so this is uh, the ant experiment where we have uh, found the full cylinder so 5 over 6 probability of survival and repeated capital N minus 1 times we have 5 over 6 to the power n minus 1 survival uh, probability and in the nth experiment we have the probability of finding the uh, full cylinder is 1 over 6 so probability of being shot in the capital N experiment is 5 over 6 to the power n minus 1 times 1 over 6 so uh, let's see what we have done uh, we're playing this macabre game of Russian roulette where we insert a single cartridge into one of the six empty chambers of the cylinder you can see that in this picture the a cartridge has been inserted into this cylinder here uh, leaving the other five chambers of the cylinder empty so uh, one then spins the cylinder aims at one's head and pulls the trigger so what is the probability of still being alive after playing the game once twice and times and uh, what is the probability of being shot when playing the game the end time now for one experiment we have six possible outcomes these six chambers uh, can uh, basically uh, align uh, with the me mechanism of the uh, the gun um, at random so we're, we're going to stop at the uh, well we should not call this cylinder but we should probably call this a uh, chamber it stops at the chamber number um, one two two six and one of these chambers will have the cartridge inside so the uh, probability of being shot will be 1 over 6 uh, when we find the the cartridge in the chamber and the probability of being alive is 1 minus probability of being shot so it's going to be 5 over 6 so what is the probability of uh, still being alive after playing the game twice now the repeated experiments have uncorrelated or statistically independent outcomes for each experiment the probability of survival is 5 over 6 so for two experiments two consecutive experiments it would be 5 over 6 square which is 25 over 36 for capital n experiments we repeated capital n times so we have 5 over 6 to the power n in the ant experiment we want to have a shot the person is shot so capital N minus one experiments where we found only the empty chambers in the cylinder uh, now uh, this means we have 5 over 6 to the power capital N minus one and in the ant, ant experiment we have uh, the person shot the probability of being shot in one experiment is 1 over 6 but after n minus 1 experiment so this will come as a product because we have uncorrelated statistically independent outcomes so 5 over 6 to the power capital n minus 1 times 1 over 6 will be the answer